Hey guys, back with the next uh, segment of the Love Bites concert. I uh, hope you guys are having a great start to your week. Um, I was just checking out One OK Rock. Um, so, super cool band there too. Uh, super fun, but not Love Bites. Alright guys, let's jump into this. This band just kicks major booty. Asami has just got the coolest voice ever. Um, incredible. She's got such an incredible range, too. Um, I love she She really participates with the audience. As, as you see them, they all do. Um, with just a smile or, you know, a fist pump, raising the horns, uh, whatever the case may be. And I think that's super important for any band. Um... You know, I've seen bands that they had, like, no audience participation. It's just so lame. Um, they're just there to make money, and then they leave. You know, it's not like Bub Bites. You know, it's about, you know, the fans. They don't forget uh, who put them where they are. And and some bands do. Um, you guys know. Um, it's just a fact. You know, I've seen performances where get up and saying, yeah, and they might say thank you, but they don't get the crowd pumped up. You know, they don't really let the crowd participate, you know what I mean, or try to get them to sing. And I really hate that. So, so much respect for Love Bites. Uh, the best in the genre. Absolutely, 100% the best in the world. It, it, it's just, it's incredible, guys. Mm. We are so blessed to have this band in our life. Miyako and Midori, the best guitar tandem in the genre, in the world, in my opinion. Um, I think Midori is a little bit faster, but I think it's just two different playing styles, you know what I mean? Um, I think Miyako is just as good, and I think 
their difference in playing styles complement each other so well. I mean, you got that kind of, you know, shredder solo, and then you get Miyako coming in, and hers is just a little bit different. Um, I think she's almost as fast, absolutely. And I don't mean that offensively, guys. I think it's a great thing, because um, it really, it changes the dynamic of the song. If you have Midori really uh, shredding, you know, really fast, and Miyako comes in, and a little bit slower, but it's almost like a, it's a completely different solo. Um, and that's one thing I love about this guitar tandem. You know, my favorite guitar tandem was always, you know, uh, Glenn Tipton and K.K. Downing. Um, I'm a huge Judas Priest fan. Um, grew up listening to them, you know. Um, I've had everything they've ever done. Um, just such a great band. Um, legends, you know what I mean? So, I think they've passed the torch to Love Bites. Um, this band is just, you just don't have enough words, you know what I mean? You just really don't have enough words. Um, everything about the band is, is just incredible. in this um you got that galloping bass and you got the guitar tandem just uh you know ripping along with the same the same thing it's there's a lot of iron maiden vibe in this in my opinion and guys are just my opinion and it's not a bad uh band to be uh sort of compared to right iron maiden legends um i love it um it, it's just incredible you know i, I you know as I've been doing the reactions from uh, bands in Japan, um, learned so much, you know, there's so much good, you know, hard rock music um, in Japan. You guys have been carrying the torch for 30 plus years. Um, so uh, we have to thank you, um, Japan. We definitely have to thank you for carrying that torch, all of us metalheads. Um, love it. Awesomeness. Awesomeness. Um, I think that was the end of the song. I think they're starting to do another one, so I don't want to keep going. Um, but I'd better check, I guess, huh? Yeah, different song. All right, I just want to make sure, guys, I didn't want to take off the end of the song, but all right, Love Bites, best, the best in the anywhere in the world, in my opinion, in this genre. Um, man. All right, guys, have a great week. Uh, I'll see you with more Love Bites.